guys and welcome back or should i say hey there pumpkin <laughs> i love this coffee cup i got it at my local supermarket it is so big and i can drink so much coffee so this is the reference picture that i'm going off of when it comes to this look and i did want to show you for those who follow me on instagram this was my not so good gremlin that i created i just didn't like it after I painted it so that is why I did not use it but I just wanted you guys to see it for yourselves to know that yes it does exist so the first product I'm going to be starting with is a clay mask I got this from Amazon and I will link it down below and I'm so glad to be doing a clay mask because of my mask me is anybody else having any breakouts because of their masks mine is horrible so I figured this tutorial is not only for Halloween but maybe it'll help my skin as well so I measure out a half cup of water to a half cup of the powdered clay and this is the consistency that I ended up getting and then I just took a brush and painted this mask all over my face I did want some parts of my face to have more intense cracks so i did kind of go back and forth and add an additional part of that clay to certain parts of my face and i will be dragging this down my neck and onto my chest so i kind of do the same thing there i do okay get it together get it together it gets sloppy guys it gets a little messy so just be prepared if you do this but i wanted some parts to look kind of gross and chunky and more cracked so just add it as you like if you want a thin layer by all means have a thin layer but i wanted some parts to be a little more thick and a little more cracked i did go off camera to speed the drying process up and took a hair dryer on the cool setting and just ran it over everything for about five minutes and then this is what it ended up looking like now i am taking a white water activated paint from mayron and only using a little bit of water, I definitely didn't want this to seep into the cracks. I wanted it to basically lay on top of it so that you can get all of the goodness of all the cracks. This definitely took a little bit of practice. And as you can see, some of these chunkier parts do come off. But I think it just adds to the character a little bit. And they really didn't dry all the way. So... Again, it's just totally up to you how you want to do the clay mask, but I liked how some of the pieces were ending up falling off. It just gave it some character. Now I'm taking one of my favorite grease palettes. This is from Amazon. I've used it in every Halloween video. This is basically a knockoff Makeup Forever flash palette, and I'm taking the black paint and just stippling it where I find it necessary, I guess. I'm basically following the reference picture and it just makes this statue or this gargoyle look uh, a little dirty old. She's been around the block. She's been in that graveyard a little too long. So she isn't perfect. She's cracked, she's older, and she's dirty. So I'm just taking a little paintbrush and going around some of the more um, deeper looking type of cracks just to make them pop more. And then just kind of stippling the black grease paint where I think it needs to go and following the reference picture super easy instead of fighting with some of those big clay pieces that did fall off I just go ahead and color them in black and then make them look like they are broken peach pieces of the statue and just running some cracks out from it with that small paintbrush and that black paint With that same black grease paint, I will go ahead and line my eyes. I do this pretty sloppy because I knew that I was going to go in and blend some color over it anyway. So I just wanted to make sure I got the color on before I added the eyeshadow. And then with the same brush, I go ahead and fill in my lips with it as well. And I wanted to use some of that red cream paint just because I knew I wasn't going to be spraying my hair completely black I was gonna leave some of my regular hair in the look so I just thought it would be cool to bring out the red in my lips to match the red in my hair 
As with any mask, I never drag it underneath of my eyes or get too close to my uh, eyes. So I am taking some of that white cream paint and just putting that underneath of my eyes to make everything blend better. Now I'm gonna jump into the Morphe James Charles eyeshadow palette and take that black and just start to blend it on my eyes and blend out that black cream paint up to my eyebrows and then also take that black underneath of my eyes as well and blend that cream paint down a little bit further than I usually do just because I wanted to have a more dramatic effect. And I'm just taking that black grease paint again and lining my waterline. I guess I was too lazy to get up and get a black eyeliner, but that grease paint is totally safe for the eye area. No harm there. And then anytime you use a grease paint, make sure that you set it with powder or an eyeshadow. I got these lashes from my local drugstore. They are one of the Halloween lashes that they bring out every year. I wanted a top and bottom lash and more of a lash that basically winged out on the ends to kind of elongate the eyes a little bit and match my inspo picture more. And if you are someone <laughs> that is used to putting lashes on, is it not harder to put Halloween lashes on? There is something about Halloween lashes that I just seem to fight with. I think it's because the band isn't so flexible. It's just something with Halloween lashes I always have a problem with, but I do eventually get them on after I fight with them for a little too long. And then I take that black grease paint again and just do some tight lining to bring my natural lashes and the falsies together. I wanted to add some mascara to the lashes, not only to make my lashes blend better with the falsies, but I just think it gives them a more dramatic effect. So I add a lot to both of the outer corners of the top and bottom lash. I loved how the hair was pulled back and flat and just gives you all face. So I wanted to make sure I did that with my hair. I did take some regular hairspray in the beginning to try and lay down these crazy, crazy baby hairs. I did actually get up and get my eyeliner here and made a little bit of uh, a false lash effect on the bottom and a little bit uh, in the corner, as you can see with that eyeliner. But I then go ahead and take some of that black hairspray paint, which I've mentioned, this is one of my favorite ways to bring a look together. And at first I really wasn't going to put a lot of the black hairspray in my hair, but I just go crazy. I got heavy handed, I went crazy, and then I felt like I had to blend it a little bit uh, so that it didn't give that mask look at the top there. I wanted to blend my hairline in a little bit and make it more black. But uh, yeah, I think it ended up working out in the end. And then the final process as always is to pop some contacts in. I got these red contacts from, I believe either dream eyes or spooky eyes. I will link it down below, but that is it for this Halloween look. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching. And if you do this look, please let me know or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. Have a good one, guys. Stay spooky.